What is IBM Data Studio? How is it packaged? Where can Data Studio run? And what are Data Studio requirements? Let's start with the first question about what is IBM Data Studio. IBM Data Studio is a free tool for database administration and development. The latest version at the time this video was created is 2.2.1. It is based on Eclipse 3.4.2 and can work with DB2 for Linux, Unix, or Windows, also known as DB2 LUW, DB2 for iSeries, DB2 for ZOS, and Informix Dynamic Server. In this video, we provide examples using DB2 LUW, and specifically, we use DB2 Express C, the free version of DB2 that can run on Linux or Windows. There are several fee-based products related to IBM Data Studio. Most are Eclipse-based. We have, for example, Infosphere Data Architect, or IDA, which provides a complete solution for database design. Data Studio has a limit set of features from IDA, like the one to graph relationships between tables. Then we have Optim Database Administrator, or ODA. ODA provides a complete solution for database administration. Data Studio has most of the features available with ODA, except change management. Change management is useful when your database structure needs to be modified, affecting many tables that are related between each other. With this feature, ODA takes care of propagating changes and keeping the data consistent. We also have Optim Development Studio, or ODS. ODS provides an environment for database developers to work on functions, develop store procedures, SQL scripts, web services, and so on. Data Studio provides this same functionality, but it does not have pure query support. Pure query is a new Java API from IBM that allows Java developers to code in a simpler way. It also helps DBAs improve performance of applications without modifying any code. Note the two asterisks at the, at the bottom indicates that Optim Database Administrator and Optim Development Studio are now included with most priced DB2 editions. So if you have purchased, for example, DB2 Workgroup Edition, these tools, ODS and ODA, can be used at no extra charge. Know that to run pure query applications, you do need to purchase Optim Pure Query Runtime. Next, we have Optim Query Tuner, which is a tool that can help you tune your queries. Data Studio includes part of the functionality from this tool. Finally, Optim Performance Manager can help you monitor and tune your database. Data Studio also includes part of the functionality provided with Optim Performance Manager. So in summary, Data Studio provides functionality that could be considered as the base for, uh, for some of these other products. So moving on to the next chart, where does Data Studio fit in in the data life cycle? We can see from this chart that Data Studio has partial functionality for every step in the life cycle of data. At the top of the figure, you see the task launcher that you will find when you start Data Studio 2.2.1. Each tab represents a step in the life cycle of data, from design, development, and administration to monitoring and tuning. The arrows point to the descriptions with more information as to what functionality is included in each tab. Know that some of the functionality listed is available only on the IDE package of Data Studio, which will be described in the next few slides. The other products mentioned in the previous slide, like ODS, ODA, IDA, and so on, provide complementary functionality for each step in the data life cycle. Now let's talk about packaging. Data Studio is available in two packages, a standalone and IDE. Let me start with the IDE package, which is here on the second line. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. With this package, you get everything Data Studio can offer 
including an installation manager. It also allows you to integrate well with other IBM Eclipse-based tools. For example, if you have IDA installed in your system, then after installing and starting Data Studio IDE package, you would see all the menus also from IDA from the same console as one single tool. As you install more products that can be integrated like these, you will see more menus appearing from the same console. You're, you can also shell share, meaning that you share the same Eclipse across all of these products. Now, the IDE package is rather heavy. It has a download size of 826 megs. The IDE package could be downloaded differently as shown on the next slide on the next line in the figure. So with this other package or another method to download IDE, you only need to download 91 megs. This package, what, what it will do is first download the installation manager component and then the installation manager will pull, pull in the components it needs rather than all of the Data Studio software. So this would be helpful if you have already installed other IBM Eclipse based products that share components with IBM Data Studio. The second package is the standalone package, also known as RCP, which stands for Rich Client Platform, an, I an Eclipse component. This package has the exact same look and functionality as the IDE package, but it does not allow for extensibility with other IBM Eclipse based products. It also does not have support for a few features like data web services and an XML editor. However, the download size is a lot smaller, 290 megs. Data Studio Standalone may be all that you need and it is the preferred choice for people using DB2 Express C data server. Moving on, let's answer the third question in this video. Where can Data Studio run? Data Studio can run on Windows workstation platforms like XP, Vista, Windows 7, and Windows Server Platform 2003 and 2008. It can also run on Linux. Red Hat and SUSE are the ones normally used for testing, but other distributions may also work. And Data Studio can run on 32 and 64 bit systems, though, if running on 64 bit systems, Data Studio will actually be running on 32 bit mode. Finally, to answer the last question about what are Data Studio requirements, Data Studio would need a minimum of one gig of man memory, and for disk space, it needs 500 meg for the standalone package or two gig for the IDE package. For detailed information,